Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. November 8th, Wednesday, Joshua chapter 24, verses 16 through 25. Then the people answered, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For it is the Lord our God who brought us and our ancestors up from the land of Egypt out of the house of slavery, and who did those great signs in our sight. He protected us along all the way that we went and among all the peoples through whom we passed. And the Lord drove out before us all the peoples and Amorites who lived in the land. Therefore we also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. But Joshua said to the people, You cannot serve the Lord, for he is the holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions or your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, then he will turn and do you harm and consume you after having done you good. And the people said to Joshua, No, we will serve the Lord. Then Joshua said to the people, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen the Lord to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. He said, Then put away the foreign gods that are among you, and incline your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. The people said to Joshua, The Lord our God we will serve, and him we will obey. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and made statutes and ordinances for them at Shechem. Amen. After hearing Joshua's words, the gathered community responds promptly that they do indeed choose to serve the Lord. They mirror Joshua's storytelling for themselves, recalling all the things that God has done and all the ways God has shown up for them. In this way, they acknowledge that it is not just Joshua who remembers these things, the whole community does too. This back and forth reminds me of the call and response of the liturgies and litanies we say in worship. The leader and the gathered community remember together the promises of God and the stories we've lived. We communally acknowledge when we have fallen short and when we have rebelled against the love of God. And we remind each other of God's grace. This back and forth between Joshua and God's people is a harsh one. It almost seems like Joshua is testing their earnestness, perhaps because he knows full well that they have strayed in the past. But the people reply again with urgency that they will in fact serve the Lord. Joshua's reply, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen to serve the Lord, highlights the importance of accountability and commitment for building a culture of embodied identity focused on God. I found this to be especially true in my life, saying, I will do something is not the same as doing it. I need trusted friends and colleagues to hold me accountable to my convictions. I need my church community to be with me as we together speak our communal confession each week. I need my small group so I can share openly about my struggles and be encouraged. Building a culture set on God means building a culture of accountability, honesty, and trust. Let us pray. God, let us trust and let us be trusted and let us hold each other accountable to our convictions. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.